All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this training and how to build business credit. All right, I'm going to go over just a couple things with you guys. And the very first thing is creating that corporation or entity. Now, you got to register this with the state of secretary. It's going to be an LLC, S Corp or C Corp. An entity is required in order to build business credit. Then you're going to need your EIN, a.k.a. your Social Security number for your business. Remember, EINs are free with the IRS, okay? don't pay anybody for that then you're going to get your duns number which is required for building business credit and required for government contracts it is the d and b brad dun and brad street okay you're going to go to www.dnb.com then you're going to open up a business checking account you can do that with either bank of america or navy federal credit union or anyone you choose to do it with as long as it's a business banking account okay um, now you're going to want to get a website. Website is so required in order for them to validate your business. That is one of the two ways that they're going to validate that business. You can do this with Shopify or Wix or anyone that, that's going to host your website for you. Okay. Then you're going to list yourself in the 411 directory. Now, this is the other way that they validate your business. They want to make sure if someone is coming to shop or support you, that they can actually look you up in the 411 directory. All right. Now you got to get a virtual address. OK, they do not like seeing home address for um, the business. OK, so you can actually get a virtual address with USPS, iPostal or UPS. It's going to be a different address other than your home address. Now, let's talk about how you actually build business credit. You got to establish relationships with suppliers. You have to build professional relationships with company um, to show them that you are about your business. Okay. Now, um, you only want to borrow from suppliers who report at the beginning. So when you are in tier one, it is so important that you only borrow from suppliers that's going to actually report to your business credit profile. Okay, Um, that's why it's important to get a list. All right. Now you got to pay your bills early or on time. If you pay them early, you're going to have a 92 business credit score. Okay. If you pay them on time, you're going to have an 80. Nonetheless, both of them perfect business credit. Okay. Um, Now you're going to also make sure you start with tier one. Do not skip steps. Okay. You hear a lot of people saying, Oh, I applied, but I got denied. That's probably because they did not have a paydex score and they wanted to run before they even learned how to crawl. Okay. Crawl before you walk. Now, now you got to start applying with suppliers for net 30 accounts. Okay. Yep. It gets frustrated. You're like, what the heck is this? What does it mean? This is why you have somebody like coach Brooks helping you along the line. So you can understand what all of this means. What are suppliers? Suppliers are company that you order items from and then you pay them 30 days later. Okay. Um, some, some terms are 30, 60 and 90 days, but you're going to build a relationship showing them that you know how to pay your bills on time number one question i get asked give me some trade lines coach give me some trade lines so here are six one two three four five six seven seven trade lines that you can go with uline granger quill crown suma sns and hp supply hp supply is actually um one that's going to require for them to approve you first okay now once you get five of those all right you're going to boost your nav um, account okay that's going to give you what is called a paydex score and give you a score across the board that's kind of similar to karma credit okay um so just anybody trying to get the similarities there okay now you got to check that nav account and you got to check dmb okay they're going to tell you who is reported and who is not so you need to see those five trade lines on there before you try to move on to tier two okay now a paydex score is very much needed in tier two all right you need that to get business credit cards you need that in order to get business finance and so you want to make sure you do that nav boost so that you can get that paydex score All right. Now, guys, every Friday, I'm going to drop a different training on a different topic. If you follow me on IG Moneybag623, you will know exactly what the topic is and if it's something that can help you out. Okay, feel free to email me.